really looks yummy and that would even motivate me. Well, for more, I'm joined now by a highly motivated Rainer Strack of Boston Consulting. Hello. Uh, well, you've been conducting uh, surveys on staff motivation and uh, I believe you found that motivation isn't as good as it could or should be. Why is that? Now, we conducted the survey in 2007 and we conducted one in 2009. So before the crisis, a little bit after the crisis. And we saw a huge drop in engagement and motivation. If you dig then deeper, you see that it's in particular the middle managers who are suffering uh, in the crisis and after the crisis. And traditionally, the human resource department focuses on the top management, on top executives, high potentials. And the middle managers are a little bit a neglected but critical group. Okay, so there's a lack of motivation because of neglect and also perhaps uh, because of the way uh, that they are looked at. You just mentioned the word HR, Human Resources Department. A resource isn't necessarily an individual or a human being. Yeah, I would, let's say, regard resource as a positive term and, uh, because in uh, reality most companies regard employees as a cost uh, item. And what do you do with cost? You reduce cost. And we think we have now come or we, we are coming into a new decade where people will become the scarce resource and therefore you have to nurture them and you have to really regard them as a resource and not as a cost. Now in your service uh, you also looked at German companies but also global companies. Is there a difference when it comes to motivation? Now we see engagement and motivation a problem across all countries. In the survey, we asked more than 5,000 uh, 5, uh, companies from more than 100 uh, nations and we see engagement dropping and motivation dropping all over the world. And how do you think should they be motivated? I mean, we've just seen a very uh, nice example here in this report, uh, profit sharing. Is that one way, the ultimate way to go? Yeah, it should be certainly something on the um, uh, compensation side. But you should also think about recognition beyond compensation. And so, and here in particular, also the leadership uh, in an organization is pretty weak. So in terms of give positive feedback and also give an atmosphere to an employee where he or she can develop his or her capabilities most. And therefore, I would say, for example, like work-life balance does not contradict performance. Um, I'm a physicist from my background and as a physicist I would define uh, performance or perform or pow uh, power as work per time and not work times time. So it's not about the number of hours that you spend, it's more about, let's say, performance on the one hand side and work-life balance on the other. Uh, if you mentioned that, if, uh, I mean, the quality of uh, the work, does that suffer when someone isn't motivated? I should think so. The quality of work is absolutely suffering because what you can see, if you look at a, for, in a very simple index, at the top companies where people would like to work for, there's an index of these companies. And if you look at their total shareholder return, this is superior to the average. So it also matters afterwards in terms of earnings. And there's a clear uh, correlation, as we also just saw in this example with the enterprise uh, Knauer. So it's in everybody's interest to have uh, a highly motivated staff. Rainer Stark, thank you very much for thank joining you. us.